Hello, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Today is Sunday, May the 3rd, and yeah, it's hot here in Tennessee. So I'm just wondering if it's summer where you live because it is suddenly summer where we live. After all those many, many, many weeks and months of you know, everybody complaining about, ooh, frigid cold weather, it is hot hot here in East Tennessee as you can see by the attire yeah so I walked this morning with Dusty and then I walked um, this afternoon with my accountability buddy Karen and then I took Dusty out for one more walk so hence the hat hair and the clothes yeah sorry about that but it is hot here in East Tennessee so I think we were at like I don't know 84 mid mid to upper 80s today um, but it was so humid um, and I'm hoping that oh good there's Maureen yeah hey hi Maureen so yeah you Maureen you're the very first person to say hi so I was getting you know how I get with Facebook hey Kim I was getting just a teeny tiny bit nervous that Facebook wasn't gonna give me um, that was wasn't gonna give me notifications hey Betty yeah, it's hot here in East Tennessee, hot here in Knoxville. And um, yeah, and Cynthia says it's hot there in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Yeah. Hey, my Christy. Hello. And hey, Joyce. Yeah. Oh, Joyce says it's freezing in New Jersey. What is freezing? Hey, Michelle. So you can see, and hey, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. So it is, yeah, like super hot today. Um, hey, Carla. So Dusty and I walked this morning. Then we went to church. Then we had to go take care of some stuff for my dad. Then we had to, you know, take care of some other things. And, and my Windstar Karen, yes, she agrees that it is very hot. And hey, Janet. Um, so, yeah, we walked, let's see, all together 18,000 steps today. Hey, Jennifer. And hey, Carol. And hey, oh, Jackie says cold. It's really, it's cold where you're at. And hey, Sylvia. So, yeah, so we walked 18,000 steps today. Hey, other Kelly. And, um... And hey, Janice. So, yeah, so sorry about the hat and sorry about the attire. Oh, Joyce, it's 54 degrees. Man, that would be awesome. Hey, Mary. So, yeah, it was mid to upper 80s today. So rainy. Yeah, Marlene says it was uh, rainy in Baltimore. Hey, Liz. Hello. And hey, Sybil. So, it was so hot. So hot. Hey, Lynn. And um, yeah, I'm just now not soaking wet. Hey, Sylvia. My hat is still wet. Jennifer says it's 60 and cloudy in upstate New York. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, I would love that. Hi, Inez. Jackie, 54 is not freezing. That is not freezing. But anyway, oh, and I just, I see that Julie just joined us. So, Julie, I'm complaining about it being hot. How hot is it there in California? Because you live on the sun. You definitely live on the sun. Yeah, and hey, Joanne. Wait, Joanne is a first time. She's, it's her first time with, it's her first time here with us. So, everybody say hello to Joanne. Hi, um, hi Loretta. And let's see, Kathy says aloha, aloha from Oahu, but she, oh, she's visiting in San Diego. So are you in San Diego because of the, um, yeah, hey Susie, because of the volcano or are you just visiting somebody? <laughs> and Casey, no, sorry, you are, if you have an egg this week, sorry, you're not yourself this week. So yeah, yeah, thank you. When well, Sandra says I look great, ooh, I look so sweaty. Anyway, so sorry for the sweaty clothes. Hey Marlene and hey Donna and hey Alma. Um, and hey Tanya, so sorry for the sweaty clothes. My hat is literally, it's still, it's still wet. Yeah, so I think most of the rest of me has almost dried out, but when Karen and I walk, and Julie says it's 95, because she lives on the sun. Um, but when Karen and I walk this late in the day, hey Loretta, and um, yeah, hey everybody. So when we walk this late in the day, um, it's, yeah, I'm still gonna look like this because there is no time to shower and turn around before we have our chat. Um, but hey Liz, let's see, hey Liz, hey Alma. Um, and yeah, so y'all keep saying hey to each other. So today, today is June the 3rd. So today is, um, hey Linda. So today is, um, and hey Teresa. Hey, so today is Sunday, June the 3rd. And if you're watching this with us live here on Facebook, um, then hello to you. Hey, Kathy. So you, I will say, and hey, Debbie. Debbie, we're going to be talking about you here in just a second. And she says it's hot in Florida right now. So we are um, going to be doing something that Debbie's already Debbie's already done once. And so she can probably maybe guess what we're doing. Um, but um, so what was I going to say? So today, oh, if you're watching this with us live, today is Sunday, May the 3rd. And um, Sally is like kicking it in our Fitbit challenge that we're on because I have all other notifications turned off. Hey Angie, I haven't seen you in forever. So I have all other notifications turned off on my phone right now so that no one except for the nursing home that my mother is in could possibly interrupt our chat. And yet somehow Sally has figured out I keep getting these drop down notifications that Sally has moved past me in our Fitbit challenge. 
So I wasn't planning on going back out again, but it looks like I will have to now since Sally is interrupting the chat with her Fitbit news. Anywho, which means she's passed me. She's passed me in our challenge. Okay. Anyway, so today is Sunday, June the 3rd, and if you're watching this with us, watching this with us live, hey, hello, and if I missed you, I promise I will come back later and say hi. So somebody, did I say May the 3rd? June the 3rd. Sunday, June the 3rd. Sorry, June the 3rd. Um, and if you're watching this with us live, and if I didn't say hey, hello, um, I promise I will come back around and read all of these comments. So yeah, so still do please comment. Um, and yeah, and if you're watching it to, um, so if you're watching this live, hey, hello, hello everybody. And I promise I will say hello to you later. If you're watching this later on YouTube, you can watch it on youtube.com to search if you have an egg or you can watch it here in our, um, you can watch it here in our Facebook group. Um, and Deanne, let's see, Deanne's asking a question. She's not doing too good on the program. It seems she can't stick to the diet. She had gastric bypass in 2003, lost 138 pounds and has gained back 45. Okay, so you all um, chat with her for a few minutes. I know y'all can see that. And so I hope that y'all will chat with her for a few minutes. Um, yeah, and Susie says I look great. Okay, I look sweaty. Yeah. And so there's accountability, Karen. So accountability, Karen, do you look as sweaty? Do you look as sweaty as I do? Or did you go home and take a shower? Because I'm feeling pretty gross. And my hat is still wet just from a sweat, not from rain. But okay, so I digress. Anyway, so if you're watching this with us live, it is Sunday, June the 3rd, not May the 3rd, like I said a second ago. Um, we are getting ready to put something on to cook while we're chatting. So I'll be turning us around in a minute and I won't be able to see what you're saying for just a second. But let me say a quick word of um, thank you for letting me have the, you know, walking hat and clothes. No time to shower in between when, you know, when we, uh, yeah, so when we walked and later and Angie says she looks like Barbie. Anyway, Angie, I'm glad you're here though. Okay, so if you're watching it with us live, great, thank you, so glad that you're here, and hey, Vicki, and oh yeah, and Karen, took a, she took a shower so she smells better. I was gonna say that too. I hope y'all can't smell me because, whew, I'm pretty ripe. So if sweat makes fat cry, um, my fat has to be curled up in the corner in, a, in the fetal position right now because we got sweaty today sweaty today and we popped in somewhere to get something to get us something to drink out of their water fountain but we weren't actually purchasing anything there and the girls um stopped they kind of stopped us at the door hey can we help you and we were like yeah we're coming in for water hey myra so i would have loved to have seen them try to stop us yeah and accountability karen says i do smell whatever hey shirley okay so if you're not watching this with this live if you're watching this later on facebook i mean on youtube um, I promise that I will, I promise I will put on here for you two people, I will put on here when the actual chat starts, when I quit saying hello to everyone. So, and hey Jennifer. So I will try to get a couple more of y'all while we're getting this um, on to cook. Um, real quick though, I do wanna say that today, so again, today is June the 3rd. Um, hey Jennifer, so today is June the 3rd, not May the 3rd, like I said a second ago, sorry. It's June the 3rd, but that also means that it is, um, 10 days that it is 10 days until my birthday so it is oh, Antonia says she likes the brand on my hat I don't know you'll have to read it I honestly can't remember where I picked it up but anyway hey Jennifer from Fort Worth so um in 10 days I celebrate my 51st trip around the sun yeah and um I would like to say that I want to stop and thank Weight Watchers and Freestyle for making me my, I think, my healthiest. I think I'm healthier in this second half of the century than I was in the first half of the century that I am occupying. And hey, Cheryl. Um, so, you know, the new Freestyle foods, um, my hair, skin, and my nails look better. I mean, honestly, I mean, okay. Um, I'll be 51 in 10 days, so yes, I have wrinkles, you know, I have crow's feet, you know, whatever, but my skin overall, I think, has better texture. I don't know, since we've been on freestyle, my hair is growing like crazy, my fingernails are growing so fast, <laughs> I have to keep trimming them, um, and my tummy feels really good, so yeah, so I'm loving it, but anyway, um, so I just wanted to say thanks, you know, yeah, thanks for that, you know, Weight Watchers and freestyle, and um, I also want to say that for my birthday, you don't need to send me gifts. 
Um, oh, Loretta will be 60 in July. Happy early birthday, Loretta. Um, but I also want to say for my birthday, I don't want you to send me gifts. I would love for you all to send me more love bucks like you're doing right now. So the hearts that you're sending here on Facebook when you're on here live with us, those I'm calling, we're calling those love bucks now. If you like, share, comment, um, anywhere, Instagram, Weight Watchers Connect, YouTube, here on Facebook, um, anywhere that you connect with me, um, if you would, you know, those are love bucks. And yes, thank you all. Thank you. You know how much I love the hearts. So people who can't see the hearts, you know. But anyway, so you know I love the hearts. So what that has done, though, enough of you all either subscribed to Weight Watchers or sent love bucks on uh, Weight Watchers. Enough of you either subscribed to um, YouTube or watched the videos, you know, all the way through, or liked them, or shared them, or commented on them. Y'all did great commenting on them this time. Um, that, that actually, um, I got enough credit on YouTube that it paid, hey Janet, that it paid one of the fees, one of the maintenance fees that we have every month. So we have, I do this for free, um, and Casey does what she does for free, but all of the outside thing, you know, like Apple likes to be paid, and Google likes, or uh, uh, yeah, um, Android likes to be paid, Google likes to be paid, and you know, hey Carol, there are a lot of other things, fees that have to get, get paid, so you all helped us to pay one of those fees just by sending love bucks. You all didn't buy anything, you didn't spend any money, yeah, and you didn't have to send me any money, so thank you, and that's what I want for my birthday, is more love bucks. Okay, before we get started, I am going to pick you all up and take you with me. We haven't done this in a long time, but one, um, what we're going to be cooking tonight, since our subject, hey Carol and hey Jeanette, since our subject tonight is go out and play, we're going to make something that is perfect, this perfect food for when you're outside. So this is, um, Debbie has actually had this, so Orlando Debbie has actually had this, and um, she, um, she sat through literally, oh wait, it's Jeanette's first time watching, hey! So everybody say hey, hey to Jeanette, and it's J-E-A-N-E-T-T-E. -E -T -T -E. So everybody say hello to Jeanette. It is her very first time watching. Thank you for joining us. Um, but this is something that, so um, Orlando Debbie had to sit through this. It was freezing cold. Freezing. So, I mean, I'm not even talking, you know, chilly sweater weather. It was freezing cold. Hey, Marlene. And Debbie sat through um, this Oof, very long trial period, you know, of figuring out how to make this. But anyway, this is a perfect go out and play food. Um, it's You can do this if you're going to the beach, if you're going to the mountains, if you're camping, um, anything that you would be doing outside, um, anything that you would be doing outside, you can do this. So I'm actually, we're actually going to make something now. I, it's been a while since I have picked you all up and taken you with me. It's been a long time, like probably 30 chats since I have picked you all up and taken you with me. I'm going to be turning the camera around while I do that. Sometimes Facebook gets janky when you do that. So if for some bizarre reason it chucks us off, and hey Colleen, so if for some bizarre reason Facebook chucks us off, just hang out and I'll come right back. So I'm going to pick you all up and I'm going to carry you with me. So any of you all that have been here for all of the chats, you know I used to pick you up and carry you around with me all the time. <laughs> we used to do this all the time. And sorry, that light is super bright. Didn't think about that. Um, uh, but, so what we're going to do, um, oh, and by the way, the loft. So, yeah, this little beauty, it's ours now. So, as of last week, John is buying it for me. Yay! So, we get to stay, we get to stay here. We get to keep doing our chats here. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. It's been a while since I've done this. So, let's, you know, fingers crossed it's all going to work out okay. Okay. So, here's what we're going to make tonight. We're going to be using a can cooker. This is a can cooker junior, and we are not outside, so we're going to have to use it on the regular cooktop. And thank you all for your for the congratulations on the loft, but yeah, so we've been living here three years, and I want to stay. I do not want to leave. But anyway, so this is in preparation for maybe, you know, I don't know, living in a camper when we, when we retire. Who knows? So this is a can cooker junior, and this is what Debbie and I used, and John very patiently, patiently waited. Um, Peter and Lynn says she misses those chats. Lynn, we're doing it right now, so there's no reason to miss it. Um, but John very patiently, patiently waited for us to do this while we were at the campground. But this is, hey Lacey, or hey Lacey, because I've got the camera turned around. But so, this anyway, this is perfect for outside. You can use it on a gas grill. You can use it on a charcoal grill. Um, Debbie and I did find out that you need to double up on the charcoal or get it closer 
um, you know, get it closer to the heat source. Um, it took way too long, but today, since I'm inside, we're gonna do this, but it's a great outside thing. So all I did, um, I've already sprayed the inside of it. You spray it, it's basically a pressure cooker, but you spray the inside of it um, with a little bit of nonstick spray, and then it's got the little grate that's inside of it. But so today, so for today, and y'all are gonna watch, you know, we're gonna cook this together. So, and sorry for the noise, cause I have to put everything in here. But today we're gonna do some peppers that I chopped, that I got at Trader Joe's. And look how pretty those are. Look how pretty those peppers are. Got those at Trader Joe's um, and just washed them and sliced them up. Remember, wash everything with your fruit and veggie wash that we talked about last week. And then I'm adding some um, Brussels sprouts. And I cut up the potatoes because we don't have the full time to be able to cook this since we're doing the chat. So I went ahead and um, you know cut the potatoes into fourths so that um, I went ahead and cut the potatoes into fourths so that they would cook more quickly. But um, but yeah, I know so everybody's going a pressure cooker. Okay, this is an this is a different kind of a pressure cooker. It is not like the. It's not like the Instant Pot, so don't everybody get excited, but it does work like a pressure cooker. And it's so funny because it looks like, when I back up again, I'll show you, it looks like the, um, like a milk can. It looks like an old, you know, milk can, like the milkman used to bring your milk in. But anyway, so this one's the Can Cooker Junior, and can you see how much food I'm putting in here? I have no idea how much the full size one holds, but this one's ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. We put all of the veggies in there. So right now, the only points that are in here are for the potatoes. Now I have my meat, whoops, sorry. So I did dump that in there. So now I've got my meat in here and this is um, sirloin tips. And I've already put a little bit of brag. Um, I put some brag, um, yeah, I'll think of it in a second. Anyway, on there, I did put a little bit of nutritional yeast, um, but just because, you know, I'll let y'all know I love to use that. Okay, then, <laughs> okay, you have to put 12 ounces of liquid in there. Okay, I do not drink beer, so, and hey, Evie. Hey, Evie, I have to say, I have to say hi like this, Evie, because we're making something right now, and I need the camera turned around, but I do not drink, and I don't drink, I don't drink alcohol, and I don't drink beer, but um, you need 12 ounces of liquid, so sometimes I cook with beer, and I literally only bought this one because it has a Volkswagen bus on it. Yeah, and I used to have a Volkswagen bus. I had a 1966 micro bus. So, you just pour the liquid, and the liquid can be a, a Dr. Pepper, it can be a Mountain Dew. Um, we, we did use a beer in the, last, um, in the last one that Debbie and I made, and it was absolutely delicious. Um, plus, I want that bottle for later because it has a micro bus on it. Okay, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit more seasoning to it. Let's see, oh, and y'all are talking about all these remodeling. So you're all these remodeling. If it's an open store remodel, it may be my husband's company doing it. But anyway, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoning to this and get this going so we can go back to our talking. So y'all hang with me for just a second. Okay, I, oh, I'm using the Dax Blackened. Um, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on here. I'm not measuring that. This is probably enough food for, um, let me think, probably eight servings. It probably should be eight servings. Of course, you know, we'll probably eat it in four. Then, oh, hey Stephanie, so then you put the lid on. Okay, and then when you get the lid on, you're gonna clamp it down. You're gonna clamp both sides down. Okay, and there's a little hole right here. Oops. So that's what we're gonna be watching while we're doing the chat. So we're gonna turn it on medium to low. We're gonna turn the heat on to medium to low. And then I'm gonna try and keep, somehow I'm gonna try and keep an eye on that while we're talking. So that should be very interesting. But um, if you all can see it when I get the camera turned back around, I don't know if you'll be able to or not, but if you all can see it, if you will let me know when it starts steaming, that would be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you back around. You're gonna come back with me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if everything goes well, that will start steaming. And then we can um, talk about how long that's gonna take to cook. And hopefully, hopefully it will be done about the time that we get done. So hopefully about the time we get done with the chat, then it will be done. So why are you all so obsessed with Aldi? Yeah, cause I can see a couple of things going by. So what, what's going on? What's going on with your Aldi? 
with your Rolls Aldi's. Or do I need, I'll, I'll probably have to go back and read that later, but okay. So now that we have that going, um, and again, great for outside, great for outside. So it's gonna be perfect for when we get to this part, to this portion of the chat. So who attended this last week? Who attended um, your physical meeting? So who went to your physical meeting place like I went to mine in um, Powell? And, um, okay, yeah, and my Christy says remodeling Aldi. I get that, but why, I don't know why we're talking about remodeling Aldi. But anyway, so if, yeah, so if they're, again, if they're remodeled, if they're polishing the floors, um, hey, hey, Angie. So if they're um, polishing the floors, and it might be my husband's company. But anyway, so, um, hey, Tatters. Hey, how are you? So, who's still with me? So who's still with me after I turned you all around? And it worked, and that was awesome. So, who attended your, your meeting last week? So, if you attended the meeting last week, oh, not Sybil started it, whatever. So, if you attended your physical meeting last week, give me a thumbs up. Um, and Lacey didn't because she was camping. Yay! So, this is her meeting. So, that's perfectly fine. If you attended your physical meeting last week, let's see a thumbs up. Yeah. So, let's see some thumbs ups for attending your physical meeting last week. And, um, oh, and Karen's still here. Yay! Minister Karen's still here. So, and who attended, if you attended your physical meeting last week, thumbs up. If you attended with us here last week, a heart. Let's see some hearts if you attended last week. If you are, oh and Inez was away, that's fine. And if you're not watching this live with us on Facebook, if you're watching it later, again, on YouTube, or if you're watching it later on Facebook, um, if you're watching it somewhere else besides here live, oh and there's lots of you all, woo, lots of you all. Um, so yeah, if you, oh no, and Carla was in the hospital. Why, did I miss something? What did I miss? Why are you in the hospital? Um, but yeah, so if you attended either your physical meeting or you attended with us here, like Tedders is attending now, so that counts for next week. Yep, and Marlene, that's count, that counts as this week. But still go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a heart. And Mary, yes, you're in your meeting now. So still give me a thumbs up or a heart, um, even if you're watching this later, because I still see it. I promise I will still see them. So for all of you all who either attended a physical meeting or you attended with us here yeah and Sandra must have done both because we've got she's got a thumbs ups and hearts um here are your Bravo stickers yeah and y'all keep me posted on Carla okay and I'm just gonna say Sally is still managing to interrupt our chat you all can't see that but she still yeah so anybody that's talking to Sally if she's not here because I haven't seen her come on if Sally's not here mm -hmm, y'all tell her to stop stop chatting on Fitbit for just a second because, I'm just kidding Sally, because I keep getting notifications. I have all my other notifications turned off. I've never had to turn off notifications for Fitbit, but Sally, I may, I may have to. I may have to because I keep getting notifications that Sally is like busting ahead of us um, in the Fitbit challenge. Anyway, okay, and if you wanna join one of our Fitbit challenges, um, you'll just have to ask how to do that later. Okay, so, but everybody who did attend, and I want, I want to find out about Carla later, but everybody who did attend, either a physical meeting or here, and yes, Sally C. Um, okay, and now on Fitbit, Stephanie's saying, ha ha. <clears throat> Stephanie, y'all stop it. You know how distracted I get. So that's it. Fitbit notifications are getting cut off for next week, I think, if I can remember to. But anyway, so y'all get Bravo stickers. Here are your Bravo stickers. Yeah, for attending your meeting. Okay. And speaking of Bravo stickers, um, yeah, so, okay, and if somebody is in, so those of you all that are in our Fitbit challenge, um, a couple of people are asking how, so if you don't, it's okay, Stephanie, I'm just kidding. So if you all can tell them how to join our Fitbit challenge, um, that would be awesome, because a couple of people are asking how to, you know, how to get into the Fitbit challenge. So, but speaking of Bravo stickers, um, I need to let y'all know, and yes, Tedder's squirrel. So, Tedder's, I just want to point out that I am reading my notes, and I could see out of the corner of my eye that you said squirrel. Yeah, so, yeah, I have my eye on you. I've got my eye on you, Tedders. Yeah, calm down. Kidding. Anyway, so speaking of Bravo stickers, Casey has been working on some printable downloads for us um, for um, things like the index cards, so that you can have index cards that you can um, that you can fill out yourself. Um, or um, printable copies that you can print off and you can, you know, and you can cut them out. Um, and Lacey needs information on the Fitbit Challenge. If somebody can help, um, can, and Marlene wants information on the Fitbit Challenge. So if y'all can help them join that or, you know, figure out how to join that, that would be awesome. Um, 
But anyway, so Casey's been working on some printable, yeah, I love you too, debtors, but she has been working on some printable downloads for us, um, and um, and she's gonna need some feedback. So, so you lovely ladies and a handful of gents who, um, who need some papers that you can fill out. This is for hand filling out. This is not for tracking online. This is not for tracking on the, um, this is not for tracking on the app. This is not for anything electronical. Electronical, electronic. This is for those of us who love to put pen to paper. So if you are like me and you like to, you still like to write things down, like I love a physical catalog. Um, I love to get these because I like to flip through. You know, I like to sit and flip, flip through them. Um, but for those of you who like to put pen to paper, Casey is making us some of, um, oh yeah, and Debbie, I'll mention that in a second. So Casey is, um, and Lynn, yes, I did. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're, we're actually working on that. That's what, Okay, so Lynn's asking if I ever got her extra cards. Yes, I did, thank you very much. And yes, that's a big help. So we're getting ready to start the next index, the next index card challenge, and Lynn is helping us finish up the last one. Um, but, but in the midst of all this, in an effort to streamline it, make it easier, make it easier you know, for you all, um, and for people who like to put pen to paper, so I do still like to doodle and draw and things like that. So Casey, in the midst of being a mommy, to the most gorgeous, beautiful, amazing child that there ever was, um, who is seriously like Mary Poppins. She is practically perfect in every way. She only cries when she's hungry. That's it. That's the only time she cries, and she is joyful all the time. Anyway, in addition to being mommy to the most amazing child ever, um, she also is working for me, and she has a, her own YouTube channel now, you know, The Nut did not fall far from the tree. So she has her own YouTube channel now. So if y'all wanna see Casey, um, it is Bohannon Babbles is her YouTube channel. If y'all wouldn't mind going and checking that out. Um, don't forget about my YouTube channel though too. So go to Bohannon Babbles. If you love to read, she's doing, it's all about reading. So I enjoy reading. Hey Dolly, I enjoy reading. Casey um, and my mom are like obsessed, obsessed with reading. So, um, yeah, so she, her YouTube channel is all about reading. So if you love reading, um, I had, I did her first TBR. It's a to be read. Anyway, you'll have to go, you'll just have to go check it out. So it's Bohan and Babbles, but don't, um, don't let Sylvia watched it. Yay. So don't forget, hey, Sylvia. So don't forget mine too. Yeah. YouTube, if you have an egg. So if you have an egg, it's me and Bohan and Babbles is Casey, but she's raising the most perfect baby that ever walked the, well, she hasn't walking yet, but was on the planet working for me, working for me and has her own YouTube channel. And um, she also is working on some printable downloads for us. And thank you for watching it, um, Carla. Has some printable downloads for us. And the printable downloads are gonna be things like the index cards, um, the, um, so um, some recipe ideas, uh, things that you can print out so you can track, you know, if you like to track with paper, but it's not gonna be the way she's making them. Um, Cause I got to see some of the prototypes yeah, I got to see some of the prototypes, um, and they are adorable. I mean, seriously. Yeah, and Christy says I'm prejudiced. N no, she's seriously the best baby ever, ever. But um, but anyway, so they, yeah, so these are, oh my gosh, they are absolutely adorable. It's like meal planners, you know, like where you can check off, you know, what meals you have. Um, have oh, see, how do you spell that? The you, um, Casey's Casey's is Bohannon Books. Hers is B O H A N A N O. And Janice has is popping in and then has to go help hubby. Hi, Janice, and thanks. Hey, hey, hubby, thanks for letting Janice pop in. But so Casey's is Bohannon B O H A N A N. Um, books, or no, Babbles, Bohannon Babbles, B-A-B-B-L-E-S, and Debbie says, are they going to be like for A5 format? What does that mean? So Debbie, this is exactly the point that I'm getting to. Yeah, so the point that I'm getting to is, um, sh so she's making them for printable downloads so that you all can print them. You can print them on, you'll be able to print them on paper or you'll be able to print them on sticker paper fingers crossed, and then cut them out however you, you know, however you want to, and you won't be waiting on us. So, and hey Kim, you won't be waiting on us. So yeah, so we're, we're pretty excited. And the, 
Um, so we're, she's going to need some beta testers. So prog, because I don't, okay, obviously I don't understand this. And thank you all for sharing. Thank you, Dolly and um, Lynn, for sharing Casey's name um, so people can find that. But um, since I obviously don't, I don't know what A5, I'm assuming, is a size. Okay, like, anyway, sounds like a label size. But anyway, so she's going to need some beta testers, I'm sure, to try printing these out in different on different, um, like, printers and things like that to... Um, Let's see. Oh, and Rhonda says, for those of us who have never been here before, is this something we find on YouTube? Um, the chats or Casey or the printable downloads. So Rhonda is asking that question. So let me back up just a minute. And somehow I've already talked for 30 minutes. That's how Casey gets her Bohannon babbles. That's where she gets babbles from. Yeah. So uh, Debbie, we will definitely include you in her, in her, um, beta testers because we need more information on the A5 that you're talking about. So yeah. So YouTube is all of the chats. YouTube is the chats, um, video recipes, um, things like that. And um, if you want to look at the printable downloads, those you will be able to find them on ifyouhaveanegg.com. It's just www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. I want to volunteer for the beta testing. Thank you. And, and those I'm assuming will be on Etsy because I think that's the way it works. But anyway, so she'll need some beta testers. We'll talk about all that later. Um, but she's already started working on the Bravo stickers. So she showed me the prototype for the Bravo stickers. You all will be able to print out your own Bravo stickers. Yeah, she is She is making this so that you all can print out your own Bravo stickers. And so, that, so if you have the little planner page or whatever it is that she's doing because she's uh this and she's hand drawing all this like this is not this is not computer stuff that she's done she is hand drawing every single one of these things and cynthia wants to help too awesome but she's hand drawing it all but she's doing that she is making this these things you know and i've just again i've just seen the prototypes but she's hand drawing them all so that on sunday nights when i say okay if you attended you know whatever soon not like in a week or so, but in the near future, I'll be able to say, okay, put your Bravo sticker on your page or whatever it is, and you will have Bravo stickers that you can peel off and put on your page. Yeah. So is that not cool? So everybody say thank you. Everybody say thank you to Casey. Say yay to Casey. Thank you and yay. Okay. So we got to keep talking because I've been, I have been babbling and babbling and babbling and babbling. Okay. Let me turn around. I'm going to turn around because none of y'all can see the cane cooker. And um, yeah, and Kim says, uh, Casey's a talented girl. She's a very talented girl. And um, she got in trouble her kindergarten year. So Karen, Winster Karen, and my Christy and I used to scrapbook together. And Karen and I used to teach different, you know, different classes. And one of the classes I taught was, was creative writing. And yeah, and thank you, Joyce is going to help. So Casey got in trouble when she was in kindergarten, her teacher called us in, first of all, because she said, I don't care which hand she picks, but she's got to pick one because she was writing with her right hand. And when it would get tired, she then she would start writing with her left hand and she can switch back and forth. And they made her pick a hand. They didn't pick, tell her to pick which hand. They just made her choose one so that she could, you know, do that. And Lynn wants to help. Yay. Um, then she got in trouble. I got called in again because um, she was putting dots and hearts on all of her letters, if y'all know what I mean. So it was like, you know, like when you draw an L, or I guess, like, I guess this is the right way for you all. But if you were, and thank you, Pamela, said she'll help too. So if you were doing this, like drawing an L, she would draw little hearts, you know, because that's how I taught people to do it for the decorative writing class. But anyway, so she has taken that and like exploded. She... Anyway, they're awesome. Totally adorable. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. Well, let me check on this. So, <laughs> Debbie's going to laugh because the can cooker, not steaming yet. Hmm, yeah. So, this may or may not be done before we get done with the chat. So, we'll turn that up just a little bit. Anyway, we had the same problem at the campground. You've got to have whatever, you can't have it on too height of a, too high. Oh, and Sybil says we have 90 viewers. You can't have, thank you. You can't have it on too high of a heat, um, but it takes forever for it to start steaming. So if it doesn't finish before we finish the chat, I promise I will post the rest of that video after the um, chat, but just know it's going to be delicious. So let's keep talking. And I've already made myself thirsty. Um... So next thing, 
we get, we've been getting lots of questions every week. So I am going to take a few minutes because this week's chat is pretty quick to talk about. Um, it's not one of those deep, deep, deep subjects, you know, that we're just going to have to spend all this time, you know, in, you know, in the, in the middle of, but every week I get some questions and, um, yeah, Michelle said that happened to her daughter too with the handwriting thing or the, oh, the hand switch thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we get questions. So I'm trying to answer a couple of them every week because these are from people who don't get to watch the live chats. And so, um, yeah, Angie, the pressure, this is a different kind of pressure cooker. So it is taking a, well, it's taking it a long time to come up to pressure. So we may or may not get to see the results of it during the live chat. Y'all may have to check back for it later because I'm not going to make you wait. Just know that it's going to be yummy. Okay, so one of the questions I got, and again, these are from people that don't get to watch the live chat, so I thought it would be nice, you know, to share some of them every week. The first one was, it was so funny, a girl asked, it's okay, Angie, but a girl asked, she said, um, she said, why do you use, and, and, oh, Angie, no, Angie, it is a, can you see it? It's a can cooker, so it, tech, it is a pressure cooker, but it's not like the Instant Pot, so that is not fancy like the Instant Pot. It's literally just a bottom with a seal and the top. Yeah, it's not fancy at all. We, we've got it for camping, but, but we're using it inside today because we can't do the chat outside today. So anyway, she, I could just tell this was a, this was a, oh, and Loretta's got to put her grandkids to bed. Good night, grandkids. So, um, anywho, so she said, she didn't say this out loud, but I could tell from the tone of her voice. She said, why do you put nutritional yeast on everything? But I could tell she was just like, that's just, you know, whatever. So we're not going to have a big, long dissertation about nutritional yeast. But um, I will say that in case you're new to us or in case you haven't ever, you know, joined us before, we do have, um, we do have, uh, two chats on nutritional yeast and you can find them on you can find them on youtube.com if you when you find if you have an egg when you search for if you have an egg you can find oh and y'all are saying love your water bottle thank you yeah that's from Casey this was from for Mother's Day so and yes Angie says you tell us about brags yes I do yes I do so um so anyway nutritional yeast not going to go into it here, but a lot of y'all are saying you love it. So this this person said, why do you use it on everything? Okay, A, I don't use it on everything. Um, B, um, I use it on um, things that are savory or things that are, um, you know, that would um, taste good with um, Parmesan cheese or something like that. But her main question, though, was why why was I using it so much? My And you all know, some of you all know, not everybody knows that my mother is vegan, although we've upgraded or downgraded. I don't know which, I don't know what to call that. Um, and thank you, Angie Likes Many Glasses. So um, I will show you it if we won't get too distracted. Um, that my mother is vegan, but now that she's in the nursing home, we've either upgraded or downgraded, whichever one it is, her to vegetarian because the people in the nursing home have no idea, none, no clue how to make anything vegan, and so what they were bringing her to eat was ridiculous. So anyway, nutritional yeast, this is one brand. There are many brands of it. Um, it is just yeast, but it is nutritional. Thank you, Sylvia likes my glasses too, thank you. So the same glasses, they just, I just, they just have a hat over the top of them, but, um, but I use it on many, many things. There is a, there is, we have two, hey Mary, we have two, um, chats that have that talk about nutritional yeast one of them talks about it a lot more and then the other one so you'll have to look on youtube.com or if you are in our um, closed Facebook group then um, you can find lots of recipes with this but yeah so my mom got me started using it for nutritional um, reasons but it's delicious so I kept using it okay so that was one question the second question was where <laughs> seriously Oh my gosh, I got this so many time, times. Where can I find the blueberry scones recipe? Okay, the blueberry scones are Winstar Karen, and she's here. I think she's still here tonight. So she took, she has taken this two ingredient dough thing and just gone like crazy with it. And so she made blueberry scones. I've been getting lots of questions about where to find the blueberry scones. That recipe is in our if you have an egg closed group she's got it in the file section if you all are in the group and if you know how to get there it is in the file section okay now she's made a quiche I want the quiche 
bad, and yes, she's still here. Okay, I want the quiche so bad. And as of today, I think it was yesterday or today, now the blueberry scones have a, have a drizzle of lemon zest icing. So, okay, done deal for me. She has sealed the deal for me. So, I now I want Winstar Karen, who does happen to live near here, I want her to come one Sunday and her just take over the chat. I mean, I can chat, you know, I'll talk, um, and take over the chat and make her the scones and the quiche for us. So what do y'all think about Karen joining us live um, one Sunday night on the chat and her taking over? you know, doing the recipe part of it. And we can just kind of make it about her depending on the um, topic that week. And she can make the scones and the um, and the quiche for us. What do y'all think? I think she should. I think she should come and I think she should make it, both of them. Yeah, but if you need the recipe now, so if you need it right now and you can't wait on that chat, if you are in our closed Facebook group, if you have an egg closed Facebook group, um, she, the recipes are, are, are already there. Those are already there. So. Okay, yeah, and a bunch of y'all want her to come. So I think that's a great idea too. Oh, let's turn this down a little bit. So it is steaming now. So now that it's steam, now that it is steaming, um, now that the can, can you see it? Can y'all see it steaming? So now that the can cooker steaming, um, yeah, it'll be past the chat because it takes it about 30 to 45 minutes um, for it to completely cook. So you all just will just have to be surprised, you know, later when I open it up. And I promise I'll video that too so that y'all can um, so that y'all can see that. But true to form, this is going to take longer than the chat is. So yeah, so just like Debbie's dinner in Orlando that night. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Okay, so it sounds like y'all are on board um, for Karen to to come be on chat with us. So Karen, you have to come now. And Karen, while you're here while you're here making scones and quiche for us, we'll also have to talk about you know what? Yeah, we'll talk about that too. Mhm. Mm and Sylvia says she needs one of those for her campers. Yeah, you seriously do. So easy. The only reason I cut the potatoes up is just because of how long it takes um you know, just because of how long it takes, you know, here I was, you know, trying to get ahead of the chat. I knew better. But anyway, okay, so, oh, and Tanya says make some Wegos live too, so yeah, we can do that too. Okay, so the last question, really quick, yeah, and Karen says give me a date, yeah, we'll work on that. So the last question that I had really quick, because now it's already 29 somehow, is um, somebody asked this this week, and I just had to laugh because this, this week was not this at all. So I had somebody on, I don't, I don't remember. I can't remember if it was Instagram or if it was here, but I had some, and yeah, Joyce says, yes, there is a chat for that. Yes, there is, Tanya, yes, Tanya, there is a chat for that. So there's a chat for not everything, but almost everything you could think of. And the chats, um, in case you didn't already know, if you're new to us, the chats are all on YouTube. That's youtube.com search if you have an egg. All of our chats are on there, and we're, this is number 74. Um, plus, we have some recipes, you know, some video recipes and things, but all the chats are there, and there are 74, 74 chats. Anyway, they're all there. They're all on YouTube. Some of them are on ifyouhaveanegg.com. I've been a little lax in getting them posted um, because we have other things that I already have. I already have personal money invested in that I needed to get finished before I went back to transcribing them. So, sorry. You know, so my time is free, but some of those other things cost me money. So, a lot of a lot of the other things, a lot of the things that we do here, and that's why I'm asking y'all for the love bucks, um, you know, the way that y'all can help support me is through, you know, subscriptions and likes and comments and shares and things like that because even though my time is free, a lot of the things that we do for this group um, cost, they cost money. So that's one way to help, you know, with the money. But anyway, so without you having to spend any money. So, but I did have somebody ask, they said, they said, you, and I'm reading it because it's just so funny. They said, and thank y'all for the love. They said, you never have a bad day. How long is it before, um, how long is it before I get like that? That is so cute. That's so cute that somebody thought that I never have a bad day. Yeah, not even, not even. Y'all can ask Casey. Um, so I had an 11 week streak going on of the making, taking, and eating my lunch at work. 11 week streak. Doing, I was doing great, let's see. 
Okay, yeah, Angie needs an accountability partner. So yeah, somebody, um, somebody, you know, group up with Angie. So and Sylvia needs one. So maybe y'all could be each other's um, partners. But but anyway, so I was on an 11 week streak of doing that, and this last week. Okay, a couple of things that happened. Again, real quick because I'm way off the chat, but or way off the topics, not way off the chat. We can chat about whatever we want to. But and Jennifer needs a buddy. So okay, y'all, if you Sybil needs a buddy, y'all look down here. There's a whole lot of people down here, a whole bunch of people down here that need a buddy. That that was one of our chats. Y'all need a buddy. If you need a buddy, get get a buddy. I can't tell you how important it is to have a buddy. But a couple of things. So that, anyway, it was very sweet of this person to think that I had that I'm perfect. Not even, not even, um, and that I never have a bad day. Yeah, no. I'm just really good at not looking like I have a bad day. Hold on a second. So we're gonna turn that down just a little bit because it was going too hot. It's supposed to be on low um, to medium, but I got anxious about getting it going. So anyway, that was very sweet that they said that. Um, but last week, so I had my 11 week streak and, um, and then um, the things that I planned for lunch last week, they weren't things that I could just pick up and eat like I had planned. They weren't things that I had pre-tracked like I had planned. They were not things um, that I could, you know, grab and walk around the showroom and eat, you know, just in case we had a bunch of um, customers, you know, like I had planned. Um, I didn't have them already ready. Um, just a whole lot of things. And then Tuesday, I had a great weigh-in Tuesday. Um, I'm still at goal plus 1.8. So I had a great weigh-in Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we woke up late. We had to go close on the loft, which was awesome. It was awesome and amazing that we had to go close on the loft, but we woke up late. I didn't have my, I usually drink water before I leave. Um, on um, Wednesdays, I usually drink, get up and drink a glass, you know, a glass of water. Then I go walk, didn't get my water, didn't get to walk, didn't get to walk at all. Barely got to take a shower, took my shower, got dressed. We rushed off, no breakfast, so no walk, no water, no walk, no breakfast didn't make lunch that could be that could be picked up and easily eaten got to work and it was like a chinese fire drill i don't know what that even means but it was like a chinese fire drill all day long all day long long hey and what's flavia is there somebody new here i didn't see it i didn't see it so hi oh yep must be and is it flavina i can't so i'll have to see okay if i hang up on you all let me see if I'll let me go back so, hi, finally made a live chat from South Carolina. Yeah, it's Flavina, it's F-L-A-V-I-N-A. -A. Hello, welcome to our chats. So glad that you are here and good, I didn't hang up on you all when I did that, when I scrolled back. But anyway, so yeah, yeah, it was just a crazy day, crazy day, so, so no, not perfect. Okay, so that was all the questions for this week. Um, keep sending them, because um, I love them and I love to answer questions. Okay, so last week we talked about Be Here Now, and this is your this is your weekly from last week and we talked about be here now you know being in the moment um, no matter what you were doing you know I talked about giving you all um, I talked about giving you all eleven dollars yeah because that's how much our weekly meetings are so I talked about giving you all eleven dollars and let and you know and having you spend it on you know you had three different ways that you could spend it but then I gave you a ridiculous thing that I wanted you to do you know, after you had spent that money. Of course, that was fake money, not really sending anybody money. But this is this was your weekly from last week. Um, I recommend always pick one of these up. And if you don't grab one the next week, if you go to your, your physical meeting, they should have some. The secretary should always have the backdated ones um, back at least a week, at least a week, maybe two weeks. Or you can get these online. You can go back and get them online. And um, then, if you so if you get them online during the week that they occur, they're just on your um, login. So when you log into um, Weight Watchers um, online, or if you're using eTools, you know, or whatever, then you can always get these. Um, and if you miss a week, we'll have to have somebody go back and show you how to get the past weeks because that's a little bit harder. But you can download these as a PDF. But anyway, we talked about being in the moment. So who did their homework last week? So if you did your homework, who remembers what their homework was last week? And I have talked us into oblivion. So who remembers what their homework was from last week? Anybody? Uh-huh. Anybody, 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 anybody remember your homework from last week? I'm not seeing any answers yet. While y'all are answering, I'm going to check on our food. 
Oh, and Janice says, I want to thank everyone for the encouragement that you've given me. I'm still not back on track, but I'm doing much better. Or doing better. Great. She says, thanks, everyone. Yep, the food's looking good. The steam is coming out well. So at some point after the chat, we'll get to eat, and you all get to see the results later. Okay, so your homework for last week. And Angie says, I wasn't here. Yeah, Angie. Angie, you were doing our homework for this week. Last week. Accidentally. So your homework for last week was to take your $11 to take your $11 or however much your meetings are is to take that um, and to put it somewhere that you would see it so that when you're distracted by stuff, so when you're distracted by, um, you know, life, work stuff, um, whatever, that you would look at your $11, feel them, fan them, you know, whatever you needed to do, and then try to be in that moment. So um, I was not very successful with that last week after Tuesday. So I was great on, you know, Sunday was fine. We had our chat. Monday, um, I was pretty good on Monday about being in the moment. Tuesday, um, I was, um, Tuesday, you know, I was pretty much on target. Wednesday, I was very in the moment because we were closing on the loft. And then after Wednesday, so yeah. It happens. It happens. Okay. And Carla says she doesn't remember much about it. And I'm going to have to go back and find out what's going on with Carla. Okay. So this week, because I have talked us to death, this week, this is your this is your weekly for this week. Yeah, I don't know why last week was so crazy. And the days just kept getting worse. Just kept getting worse, Joyce. And so, so I did not, I didn't make any lunches that I could just pick up and eat. Like I, you know, like I said, like I had planned, you know, whatever. Um, and it just got worse as the week went along. And so Friday, all I had for lunch was the leftover blackberries out of the bottom of a, um, out of the bottom of a container. I didn't even actually eat any ac real food Friday. It had just like, um, what want to say, uh, declined to that level or whatever that I was just sitting there. People kept coming in and I was just like, uh-huh. And in between questions, I would answer a question and I would eat a blackberry. Answer a question, eat a blackberry. Answer a question, eat a blackberry. Answer a question, eat a blackberry. What I will say about that is that old me would have instead of been, instead of sitting there eating the blackberries. Now I needed other food. I was like kind of desperate for other food, and I needed it. But the old me, um, oh yeah, let's see. Dolly says, please, if you don't mind, say a prayer for my dad. His cancer is back, and we are headed into another surgery in the morning. For sure, Dolly. For sure. So, Dolly, over in the closed group, if you don't mind posting that again there, so that I'll for sure, so that I will for sure see it after the chat, because um, I want to write, I want to write your name down. And if you will tell us his um, his first name, I like to write that down on my um, on my prayer list. But yeah, we'll definitely pray for him. And then please do, you know, please keep us posted, because you know, I'm gonna want to know, you know, what happened, how it turned out. Um, but uh, but anyway, so um, old me would have gone to the snack box or would have just said, forget it, you know, and not eat anything. Um, and then be um, just like, you know, ravenous when I got home and go out and thank you all for loving on Dolly. You know, I love that. Yeah, thank you very much for loving on her. Um, but I would have just been ravenous and crazy. Okay, so blackberries didn't fill me up, obviously. But, you know, I'd answer a question, eat a blackberry. Answer a question, eat a blackberry. Answer a question, eat a blackberry. So it wasn't a total loss. This week, what I got at the store, Casey and I, I make lunch for myself and Casey on Mondays and Wednesdays. I make lunch for myself on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Casey and I get something out like um, Wendy's or Chick-fil-A or whatever on um, Fridays. So what I have for us for this week requires no heating. It requires no assembly. It requires no, you know, whatever. Just when I get to work, when it is time, when it is the appropriate time to eat, I have gone back to the week one plan um, for eating at work. And they're in, it's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be in containers where I can just open it and, um, excuse me, where I can just open it and eat. And if I need to walk around answering people's questions, I can walk around eating. Yeah, but I don't have to stop, heat it up, open a container. I mean, open any other containers, nothing, just eat straight out of it. Okay, so, yeah. So let's go to this. This is this week. This week, we talked about if you went to a physical meeting um, or if you're online, you should, you know, should have received this or should have gotten this. So, this week, we talked about, and it's, it's go out and play. This has nothing to do with going out and playing, but look at this. I am so trying this. I did not buy the ingredients for it today. 
Um, I, yeah, Ines says bento box. I know, I need to order some of those. But this, the recipe that's in this week's weekly is shrimp salad, shrimp salad sandwich with cucumber dill. Holy cow, holy cow. Yeah, that looks awesome. I will be definitely making that. And it's only um, three smart points per serving. Um, so this week we're talking about going outside. Just go out, go outside and play. So how many of you all, when you were little, I know we were like this, so when we were little, um, we were, um, we hated being cooped up inside because if you were inside, that meant that you were doing homework or you were doing, um, chores or you were doing some boring, you know, inside, you know, inside stuff. So when our parents would say, you know, you're kind of getting in my hair, why don't you go out, just go outside and play. We were like, okay, you know, and we would go outside. So we would run, we would run, we would run outside and I don't know what just happened, but I don't know what happened, but Christy has grounded Angie, what? Oh, I know. Okay, so Christy, when Angie says Barbie, she's talking about me. So when she says, ask Barbie, I haven't been on here in forever. So Angie, we're gonna start coming to your house. Just kidding, I don't know where you live. Yeah, and but I do know that your husband's name is Joel. Hmm. Yeah, so we can start checking in on you. Mm hmm Yeah, girl, you better be checking in every day. Every day. Sounds like you're getting an accountability accountability partner to check in on you every day. And sorry, I found this little, this cute little green, is it green? Blue, bluish green paperclip today, and I can't stop touching it. I don't know why. Anyway, it's just a little green paperclip. So, but we always wanted to go outside and play. Always wanted to go outside and play. Yeah, hubby Joel. Um, so we, they'd be like, get out, you know, just, just go outside and play. And we'd be like, okay. Cause we had, we grew up on a little farm. It's a 13 acre farm. And so we would go catch turtles or we would go play in the creek or we would go, um, um, ride the, yeah, it does match my top, Sylvia. Or we would go ride the horses. We weren't supposed to be riding them. We weren't allowed to put the saddles on them by ourselves. So we would go lure them up to the barn and then we would get on them bareback because that wasn't breaking the rules. We didn't put the saddle on them. We weren't, you know, we weren't allowed to. So we wouldn't do that. Um, or we would um, go, we had, we lived on a dead end street and the boys on our street had, they all had dirt bikes. They all had four wheelers. Um, and we would go play on those. We would play kick the can until our, at night, until our parents told us to come in. Um, just, you know, on and on and on. John is a city boy. He did not grow up on a little farm, but he still, I mean, you know, they were constantly outside. They had bikes, they did BMX um, things. They rode to the store, because it was back when it was still safe for your kids to leave and, you know, go to the store on their own. Um, but they would do that, or play, and they also played Kick the Can, you know, all kinds of things. So when did we stop doing that? When did we stop going outside? I mean, that used to be, you know, one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I think John and I are making, we're finally making a loop back around to that, but it has taken us, you know, nearly 30 years of being married to get back around to that group. That's why we, you know, love to camp now. And um, we walk in the mornings, you know, walk in the evenings, you know, do things that are outside. You know, when I think about what my favorite things are that I've ever, like my, so one of our, one of my favorite things, um, uh, I love fireworks. Doesn't matter where we're at, doesn't matter if we're at Disney, doesn't matter if we're in downtown Knoxville, doesn't matter if we're driving down the interstate, and um, hey Renee, doesn't matter if we are driving the, um, if we're driving down the interstate and we see, um, you know, uh, um, uh, fireworks off to the side, you know, whatever. I love, I love, oh, Cindy says it's 107 in Arizona today. Sorry, that's totally got my attention. But I love them, but you can't see good fireworks inside. You have to go outside to see good fireworks. Um, when you go to the beach or when you're in the mountains, you want to go, you want to go outside to see um, a sunrise, to see a sunset. You know, you can't watch those from inside or they're just, you know, it's just not the same. So the whole point of this week's, this week's, um, meeting topic, the going outside, if you can go outside, not when it's 107 degrees, that's probably not the best idea, but when you can, and we'll like today, we had a really bad storm and it was hailing. I wasn't going to go hang it outside while it was storming and hailing. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be smart, but, um, I am going to start being more aware, more conscious. Actually, I'm going to be more be here now, but being more and aware and more conscious about being, and you know, outside. And Carol says she's one of nine kids. Her parents said go outside all the time. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. But some of the things that happen for most of us, for most of us, um, when you go outside, 
um, you get um, you get a lot of us get recharged. Like when I own oh, Auntie's outside right now, so when I go outside, um, it I, it does in the mornings when we, we she listens well when um, when it's you know when we go outside in the morning and walk. I do get recharged. I hate getting up in the morning. It is my least favorite thing to do. I do not like to get up early, but I make myself get up. I have my clothes already ready. Um, I have my stuff ready to do, and I make myself I make myself go outside. Once I'm outside, I love it. I love it, um, and I do feel recharged, and I feel ready to go. Wednesday, when we got up late, and I didn't get my walk-in first, I think that was what started not having water and not having breakfast and not getting to go outside. I mean, it just sent the rest of my day just, you know, in a, in a downward spiral. Um, it's a sense of accomplishment, you know, when you've been outside. So if you've had, um, let's say, you know, like if you're doing playing cornhole, if you're playing cornhole outside, that's kind of hard to play inside, playing cornhole outside. Um, if you're getting better or if you're winning, sense of accomplishment. You know, if you're, if you're winning at cornhole, watching a football game, um, you know, watching your kids play outside. I mean, you want, you want your kids to play outside. Why shouldn't we play outside? Um, sleeping better the days that I'm outside, even if I'm not, if it's not just walking, but like right now, I can promise you, I've been outside most of the day today. So, I, let's see, Dusty and I walked almost eight miles yesterday. I've walked a whole lot today. Um, I've just been outside a lot today. We've been to the dog park. We've done, you know, several things. Just being outside, I don't know. I sleep better. I just sleep better. I don't know if I'm more tired, you know, or what's going on. Um, but I have talked this till 9 o'clock, so I'm going to tell you what your homework is really quick. And I apologize for, hey, Louise, and I apologize for talking so much before that we're not going to get to do a lot of this week's, you know, this week's topic. But, um... Remember, in your weekly, so your homework for this week is, and I'm just going to read this to you quickly, is to make an outdoor action plan. So, um, choose an activity that you enjoy. So, if it's 107 degrees outside, that activity might be swimming. That's probably not going to be, uh, yeah, probably not going to be, you know, doing anything in the sun. Oh, and it's Louise's first time live. So, Louise, we will all say hello to you, but it's almost 9 o'clock, so we won't get to talk to you a whole lot um but so for your homework so choose an activity um that you enjoy so again if it's 107 probably not going to be running okay so stephanie says running a 5k on saturday okay um so probably won't be that but you know swimming or something or um like today down here it was perfect for um, it was perfect for walking um today um so um you can do you know playing hide and seek with your kids well, um you know taking them for a walk you know i'm i love we had a, i have had Alyssa twice in the last two weeks and i've taken her for a walk and she's finally big enough that finally it's only been five months but she's finally big enough that she was like oh there's stuff out here there's people out here you know i love taking dusty for a walk he loves it he needs it Inez is gonna is, loves gardening that's perfect so choose an activity that you enjoy something that you know that you're gonna do you know like if i said i was gonna run y'all can just go ahead and shoot me because i'm not gonna do it i hate i hate running i don't know i would never i would never run and lisa's doing a 5k i would walk your 5k yeah so yeah, that would just not be something that I would do. So if you ever see me running, you need to run too because something is chasing me. And Sybil said bike riding. It's funny that you should say bike riding, Sybil, because John um, got a got my bike down. It's been in storage forever, and he is taking it to a bike shop, and he's getting it fixed up for me so that I can start riding. So I can start riding my bike. But anyway, so find something that you love to do. Then you need to set a realistic goal to help you stay motivated. So my realistic goal, you know, for the walking, you know, what am I going to do? What am I going to do is um, I'm going to walk. Um, when will I do it? I do it Monday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning, Saturday morning, and Sunday morning. And I know I could have said Sunday, Monday, whatever, but just works better for me that way. Um, yeah, and good night, Jackie. I know it's getting late. I kept you all late. So hold on. Where will I do it? In the mornings, I do it downtown. And, hey, Liliana. And then, um, whom will I do it with? Some mornings, it's with Dusty. And if John's home, it's with Dusty and with John. So, you can, you know, list all of this. And then, if you track your activity at, in your Weight Watchers app, or if you have a Fitbit, and I don't know what other fitness apps do this, but my Fitbit is synced to my Weight Watchers app, so it automatically loads my walking. Some activities that I do, I have to go back later and um, log them, like when we go to Planet Fitness and things like that. But, you know, but log your activity, you know, in the Weight Watchers app. 
on the, and good, and a lot of y'all are already saying this, so on the um, pages, or I don't even know what to call them, that Casey's making, um, that's going to be a part of it. The activity's going to be a part of it. Um, so go outside. It's summer in most parts of the country. Um, unless you live somewhere where the mosquitoes are huge, and even if you do, you know, you can do something about that. Um, I'm just gonna suggest that you go outside. I'm also gonna say that when you go outside, and I know I'm talking fast because I've kept this after nine, but um, when you go outside, I would like for you to be mindful. I would like for you to be here now in combination with being outside. This morning when I walked, I decided, hey Dillo, this morning when I walked, um, and Cher Lynn, you're gonna to have to explain that name to me, but, um, and yes, you can watch it later tonight on YouTube, but when I, um, when I was out this morning, I tried to be mindful of my going outside, and I just, I listened, I looked, I paid attention, I saw some things I'd never seen before, I have walked downtown a million times, but I just tried to be mindful and in the moment, um, I don't know, it's just, just enjoy it, you know, so I want you to go outside, I want you to take some bug spray. If you live anywhere near us, you know, I want you to be safe if it's 107 degrees, but I want you to go outside. I do want you to read this. I apologize that I ran it so late that I didn't get to talk about it um, a whole lot. You know, we'll recap on next week, but I want you to make an outdoor action plan. So your homework for next week, if you want your Bravo sticker, if you want your Bravo, your fake Bravo stickers in preparation for Casey's real Bravo stickers she's making, then I need you to Make an action plan, and your action plan is just simply one, two, three. One, two, three. You're gonna choose, you know, choose an activity that you enjoy, set a realistic goal to get it um, done, and then you're gonna track it in your um, Weight Watchers app, or you're gonna write it down somewhere. So, good night, everybody. Thank you for staying late with us tonight. I promise I will post the fruit of our labor. This is still cooking over here. Still got about 20 minutes before that's done. So yeah, so we, you know, and y'all also need to thank John because the nights that he is home, the nights that he is home with me and um, when we have chats, he doesn't get to eat dinner until like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Yeah, because I'm usually making something for here. Um, I would grab Dusty, but John and Dusty had a very, very, very long, very long day and I think they're already in bed, except I'm gonna get him up to come eat supper. So anyway, good night, everybody. I enjoyed this week. Um, have an awesome week. Join us, um, you can see uh, Wednesday, we'll have our Wednesday wrap up. Um, you can see this later on YouTube and I will make sure and post this on Facebook. So good night, everybody. I hope you have an amazing evening and I'll see you all next week. Bye, oh yeah, and Rhonda, Rhonda enjoyed her first live chat. Awesome, good night, everybody. And I'll show you the dinner later. Good night.